Okay, we are live. Lex, can you wave? Hi. Oh. <laughs> right, welcome everyone to our, I think this is our 20, 21st cook along maybe, I think. 21st, 22nd cook along. So we've been doing these for, for weeks and weeks and I know loads of you have been uh, joining in every week, which we're totally grateful for. We hope you guys are enjoying all this. Um, oh, guest appearance. Guest appearance from Iron Man. Dun dun dun! Captain America. Captain America, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, we're going to sort that out for in a second. Right, so I hope everyone's had a great weekend. Um, we all uh, slept in the... Mummy's going to sort you out the mobile game, Luca. Uh, we all slept in the front room yesterday. We had a camping in the front room at night last night. So we're all pretty, pretty tired. Um, but today is amazing. So thank you all for joining me. We're going to be making our tray baked spaghetti. Um, and this has totally revolutionised how we cook, like basically, spag bowl at home. Um, it's so easy, it's all going to go into a single tray in the oven, half an hour, you've got it made. I know some of you have already cheated and done it yesterday as well, and you converted converting, so thank you. Um, like one second, beautiful. Uh, right, so parents, there's two things I want you to do. I want you to put your kettles on, fill up with water and put your kettle on. <laughs> right, just wait one sec, Luca. Um, and I also want you to have your ovens on at 200 degrees, right? 200 degrees, oven on, and kettle on, which, have we got our kettle on? No, we haven't, so let's put the kettle on. Right, let's tell, tell all the kids at home, what should they have done by now? Wash your hands. And what do the kids say at home? When they yes, their chef. Hands? Yes, chef. Okay, so let's run through all the ingredients that we've got here. Um, so, we've got a measuring jug, on one of the rare occasions it's quite helpful to have a measuring jug. Uh, we've got one onion, uh, diced, sliced, chopped, it doesn't matter how big the onion is, it doesn't matter if it's red, white, brown, yellow, green, pink or blue, we just need it chopped or sliced, however it comes. We've got a couple cloves of garlic, again, doesn't really matter too much how much you use, it just adds a bit of flavour. We have a couple of tablespoons of tomato puree. You could use a bit of ketchup if need be. You could leave it out, but it gives it a bit more depth. Um, we've got some uh, passata, some tomato passata, uh, which we're going to measure into a cup, about, which is about 250 mils. So the measuring jug and stuff will be helpful today. Um, we've got exactly 300 grams of spaghetti, it's just regular run of the mill spaghetti, okay? Um, and we've got one stock cube, which we're gonna to use to put our hot water in, add a bit more flavor to it. And well, basically we had a couple of sausages for breakfast. So we did have six, we've only got four sausages now, so that's fine. So for this, you could be using some mince meat, rolling little balls, you could get mince meat and scatter it over the top. You could be leaving it out, you could be using prawns and making it a seafood one. You could be doing just a vegan only one and using a vegan stock cube and just some veg on top. So you can do whatever you want with this. So the first thing we're going to do, kids at home, is get your stock cube, take stock cube, take your measuring jug and we're going to add about uh, 600 mils, give or take, millimetres of hot water. So do you want to put the stock cube in there? And then we're just going to fill this up, about 600 mils. Are we there? Are we there? No. What's that? 500. Like 540. That's about 600 there. That is not 600. Yeah, it is, because it goes up. The next one's 700. See? Well, it's a bit fractured under, that's okay. Right. Well, get a spoon. Now, I just want you to be very careful, it's boiling water, so hold the jug in one hand, Alex, and with the spoon, just stir it a bit, just to, just to basically let that stock cube melt away a fraction. It's a little bit more than that, though, son. A little bit more than that, push it down. That's it. Okay, great, we're going to put that to one side. Should we put that to one side? Okay. 
Right, this is all you today. I'm not getting involved, okay? Right, so kids, first thing I want you to do is get your spaghetti. So we can take all the spaghetti out of here, Lex, and put it all into our tray, basically. And this is, this is how easy it is. This is an assemble and whack it in the oven. And in fact, I made one earlier. I'm going to take out the oven to show you in a minute. That's it, Lex. Put it straight into there. That's not all of it, though. Okay, get all of it out. There's one last Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Right, so raw spaghetti straight in here. I love the feed. Okay, now you've got some olive oil as well, or vegetable oil. I said about two or three tablespoons. So let's, I just want you to drizzle over a bit of olive oil onto there. About two or three tablespoons. Perfect. Done. Right, get your hands in. I want you to get it messed up a bit. Get your hands dirty. You hate getting your hands dirty, <laughs> don't you? You really do. Right, so just mess up uh, this a little bit. You're going to be a bit quicker. Just mess it up like that. Cool. We just want to coat the, the spaghetti or the pasta you're using. You oh, could get away. No, That's oil. it, perfect. With a bit of oil, right? So get them covered. Great work. Right, now, Lexi. Oh, spread them out. Oh, spread the pasta out. Okay, come on, put it out. Right, now, onions. Throw the onions in. Good. Now put the garlic in. Well, get all of it in there. Okay, now mix that a little bit, just so the spaghetti and the onions and garlic are a bit mixed up, a bit muddled up in there, kids. That's great. Perfect. Now, should we show the camera? Because that's really good how you've done that. No, okay, so look. That's what it looks like so far. Oh no! Oh no, you're filthy. Oh right, look, we've got some else. We've got Dwayne up. Uh, big love to my YouTube Dwayne. You've been following me for years and I thank you, Dwayne. Uh, we've got Sam and Cara. Hey, Sam and Cara, how are you guys doing? Uh, and Arlo, Arlo, our little mega chef. He's amazing, he's great. Okay, so we've got that together. Let's spread it out a bit. Spread it out. Good. Right, now, we've got our tomato puree. Actually, let's put that in in a minute. I want you to measure out, kids, about a cup, about 250 ml. I think you have to do that. because No, you're doing this today. Don't let it slip. So fill up the cup with the mm. passata. Yeah, that's about right. Perfect. Done. It needs to be exact. Just to be exact, it's a young perfectionist <laughs> old boy here. There we go. Okay, right. Now pour that into your spaghetti. Mm. Nice and gently, well done. Okay, let's get rid of this as well. Right, let's get you a little, let's get you a fork. You want to do it in your hands? Okay, go for it, do it in your hands. Right, look, get all these bits here, all these onions and garlic, get them folded in. Jesus, Lex. Right, slow down, slow down, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, Stand I don't back. Want to eat that. Okay, leave that in there. Can right. Eat just that? No, no, you can't, it's not cooked yet. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we've got our stock. So look, just a heads up, this takes half an hour in the oven to cook. If you use cold water on this, <laughs> that's disgusting by the way. If you use cold water, it's gonna take a bit longer. So just bear that in mind. Right, next, I want you to pour this into there. Now when kids at home, when you pour the hot stock into this, you're no longer touching this because it's hot, all right? You don't want to burn yourself. Can I just quickly touch it one more time? One more time. That's, that's gross. <laughs> Pack it in. Right, do you want to wash your hands? Yeah. Okay, let's quickly wash it. The kids, wash your hands. Oh, we've got some other stuff. Oh, we've got James and Teddy. Hey, James and Teddy. I hope you guys are well. And we've got Edwin and Lyra as well. Hey, Edwin and Lyra. Okay, you actually back up. Good. Right. That's right, you always make a mess. Nothing to do there, son. Right, let's pour our stocks. We've got about 600 mils of I'm stock. Of this bit. Do you want me to do this for you? You can do it. Just do it slowly, nice and slow and steady, okay? Let's so pick it up, gently pour it in so it doesn't splash. Do it gently at home. Let's take that spoon out. There you go, good. 
Oh, we've got uh, William and we've got Lily as well. Hey, William. Hey, Lily. Hope you guys are good. Perfect. Okay. So, now using a spoon or a fork, I want you really gently, Lex. Oh my God, that's Just to cool. move it a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, there you go. There's a cold on there. Right, you're just going to move it just to help that, that liquid get into it. Uh, so someone said, what are you cooking? What are we cooking? I've been banging on about this all week. We are cooking the most fabulous one tray baked spaghetti. So all the ingredients are going in raw. We're going to whack it in the oven. You're never going to make a spag oh, bowl in the same way again. The water's so, so hot that it's nearly cooked. It's a little it's bit longer like, to cook. Yeah, but it's nearly like it's cooking. It is cooking. It's already softening the pasta. Yeah. Um, so look, we are almost there. So we're just stabbing this. Okay, so let's put that in. So we've got our tomato puree. Let's pop that in. Gently do it closer to it so it doesn't splash. Okay. Now, with the tomato puree, just mix it a bit with the back of the fork. Okay. Okay, well look. We're going to add a bit of salt to give it a bit of flavour. Oh, oh, we've got loads of people to say hello to. Give that a mix and we say hello. So, what have we got there? We've got Clarabelle. Hey, Clarabelle. Tyler. Hi. Uh, Jake, Harry, and Daisy. Hello, Jake, Harry, and Daisy. And we've got Emily and Sophie. So, hi, guys. Hope you're enjoying it. Right, that's pretty good. I like it. So, look, we put some salt in. We can put a little bit of pepper in as well. Okay, good. Well, look, if you want to add extra flavourings, uh, what have we got? Oh, that pepper! I can smell So we've got some thyme, you can put some oregano, it doesn't matter what you want to put into it. Um, you, don't, you don't have to put any of it in. Okay, so oh we've done my that. God, you're really... oh, give it a little mix. Mm, right, now what we need to do is this, Lex, and kids at home. I want you just to move it around so it's all fairly even looking. Yeah? Oh. Okay, so that's pretty good. And you want to make sure that you've got enough liquid that your pasta's covered. Now the sausages we're using. Let's grab a sausage. Oh my god. Oh my god. So look, we're just gonna squeeze these. these. So weird. We're gonna squeeze them and drop oh. little nuggets of sausage meat in it. Go for it, Lex. Oh. Okay, so you just pick it up bits and dropping them in. Look, you can't, people said, can you use meatballs, ready-made meatballs? Yes, you can. Why um, didn't you use that instead of these? Well, we had sausages, so I thought we'd use them up. Can you play that? Get on I'll with it. it Look, treat it like, like, treat it like a tube of toothpaste, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. We don't, we don't touch the toothpaste. Well, pull it, you can't shake it out. You need to <laughs> squeeze it out like it's toothpaste. Oh. Right, <laughs> got these around. Come on, get on with it, you. Right, you're almost there, folks. You're almost there. So dot them on top. Look, that's not going to come out doing that. How's it not if I do that? Okay, good. Right, so let's dot them around. <gasps> A little bit more. I just smell something so weird. Oh my god, these feel so weird. And I said you can make this a seafood oh, version. Oh, um, oh, you can make it... Uh, vegan by using a vegan stock cube and just putting some lovely sliced Ooh. vegetables over the top. Okay, that's um, cool. It might look crowded with the amount of um, sausage meat on there, uh, but they're going to shrink a lot. And so someone has said, do we brown the meatballs first? No, you don't. The meatballs go in raw like this, and what you'll find <laughs> um, oh, my God, it's not raw. is like these, the meat's resting a bit on top. So that top bit will brown a little bit and it will flavour the rest of it. So let's wash our hands quickly. Okay. So look guys, this is it. This is the hard work. You are finished. So this is what our tray looks like, okay? So it looks like that. It's quite liquidy. Oh, I can't really see it much. Now that, you're going to put into your oven now. 200 degrees for about 30 minutes. Now look, bear in mind, if you've used cold water, it's gonna take an extra five or 10 minutes. Um, and the other thing to bear in mind as well is when it comes out, it's great. It will look a little bit more water when it comes out. Just let it rest for five minutes and then you can put what you want on it. So we're gonna pop that in the oven. Before we do, we've got one that's cooked that I wanna show you. So let's get a clean full. I've got 
Can I borrow your towel, Max? I've got a taste there. Okay. Right, so look. This is the one that's just come out of the oven. But it's not that pasta. No, we've used a different pasta. You can use pretty much any pasta you want. And we didn't use meatballs because we ran out of sausages. We're going to stir it round. So let's just show everyone. I mean, you can see how hot it is. It's literally, it's come out and it looked quite watery when it came out. But after resting it for five, ten minutes, perfect. Can I Someone has said... Pardon? Can I have a drink? Do you want a drink? Yeah, do you want to have a cup of tea? I'll take time, don't worry about it. It's all right, it's just have it on. Um, so someone said you put it in the cupboard. No, you don't. You leave it uncovered. Uh, the liquid will reduce, it'll thicken. And look at this. This is our pasta. As I said, we didn't use any meatballs and I didn't put any onions in it because we were sort of just wanted to show you something. But look at that. That is cooked. It's unctuous. It's covered in tomato sauce. That's really, really hot. That's really hot. spaghetti again right that's look that is us done so look what i really want to see is how incredible your dishes look so hashtag us kids cook with theo post up what you've made we want to see it um and let me know right because i'm over the moon about this recipe and i hope you guys are as well and don't forget this week we've got some great stuff coming up as well how did you think how did that go was that fun to make yeah yeah pretty good do you want to try this one it's super hot, you've got to blow it loads before you eat it. Take the fork, keep blowing it. Um, we've got a great week. In two days, on Wednesday, we are making our uh, pancake rolls. So we're actually going to be making crepes from scratch, really yeah. simple. Yeah, and then we're going to roll them with a lovely sort of Chinese filling. That's good. <coughs> Pardon me. You can put cheese on top. I'd recommend putting your cheese and your parsley and all those things after it's cooked. Um, but you can do it in some one. And again, it takes about 30 minutes in the oven. So oven, 200 degrees, 30 minutes, you're good to go. Uh, Friday, we're going to be making an eaten mess. Uh, so something fun for the weekend. Again, there's a few cheats for all of them to make them kid friendly. Um, and look, finally, we've been toying with the idea of doing a uh, sort of a cookbook for this. Um, and don't, nothing fancy. I mean, I've Got a couple great books out, RxC and Share, which were out earlier this year. Um, but this is sort of the homemade thing. So if people would like that, uh, let us know and I'll look into how much it might takes to sort of basically do a self-published cookbook with all of this stuff in. Anyway, we're going to love you and leave you. We've got dinner to have in half hour. I hope you enjoyed it. Big love, Lexi. Bye. Bye. And remember, tag your friends on all your hashtags to share this and get as many people involved as possible. Ciao.